Hello, this is Bruce. Today we're going to be covering the steps necessary to integrate ONTAP BMS alerting into ActiveIQ Unified Manager. Let's get started. We want to make sure that we're able to communicate with our cluster data sources in Unified Manager. From here, we want to log into the ONTAP CLI using the cluster management lift and view the list of events that are available. You can do this by running the command event catalog show message name and LUN. This output provides the available list of catalog commands relating to the word LUN that we can choose from. We'll choose LUN offline for this particular example. We can view the details of this event by running the same event catalog show command, but this time specifying the event name LUN offline. Notice from the output, we have the message name and the description of the event, but also the severity level, as well as a very important field, indicating whether or not the event is deprecated. Now we'll go back to Unified Manager, navigate to the Event Setup page, and subscribe to the EMS event. We'll place the EMS event name into the EMS event name field, making sure that we enter the event with the proper case as it appears in ONTAP. You can optionally specify and add descriptions for the event. Once we're done, we'll click Save and Close. We'll get a message confirming that our updates were successful. Back in the ONTAP CLI, we can now validate that the Unified Manager server is listed as an EMS destination by running the command event destination show. And from the output of this command, we see that the Unified Manager IP address is listed as a destination in the syslog destination field. To take this a step further, we want to ensure that our ONTAP cluster is able to forward this event to the Unified Manager server. For this step, we'll drop to the diagnostic shell by running the command set diag, followed by the event generate command and specifying the node and the message name values. You'll notice that we need to provide more context arguments for the event generation, such as the volume name, volume dataset ID, object UUID for the LUN, and finally, the object type. We can discover this information by running the vol show command and using the fields switch and specifying the DSID parameter. The output of this command gives us both the DSID as well as the associated volume name. We'll use the LUN show command, but this time for the fields parameter, we'll use the UUID for the argument. You'll notice from the output that we're given the path and the LUN name as well as the UUID of the associated LUN. Armed with this information, we can rerun the event generate command and this time entering the appropriate arguments. With no error returned, we can now validate if the event was generated by referencing the event log within ONTAP. This could be done by running the command event log show and specifying the node and the message name. As we see below, we see this notice event was registered in the ONTAP event log. We can now check in Unified Manager if the event is present by going to the Event Management and viewing all active events. At the top, we see that a Notice of EMS event was received, which was just triggered, and we can now view the event details by clicking on the event. From here, we see the event information as well as the severity of the event, which in this case is a warning, also the details of the event. We can now create an alert for the event by choosing Add Alert from the Actions menu. From this screen, we'll enter the alert name and optionally a description for the alert. Since we're dealing with a notice level event, I'm naming the alert to match the event. Next, we'll go to the events section, and as this is a warning level event, we'll make sure that the event severity is set to warning, and then we can filter the event based on name by entering EMS. LUN offline is a notice level event, so we're gonna select notice EMS event received and add it to the selected events field. From here, we can choose the Actions menu and specify event recipients by email address or by username if they're Unified Manager users. 
From this screen, we can also set the notification frequency and other configurable option parameters. When we're finished, we'll click Save, and our alert has been created. By navigating to the Alert Setup page, we'll see our alert that we just now created. You can follow these steps for any of the events that are available within the EMS catalog. Please be sure to refer to the bottom of this Knowledge Base article for additional information. Thank you for watching, and please do leave any feedback or comments that you may have.